People on YouTube make millions from AdSense alone. Here earned a whopping two million eighty-two thousand sixty-six thousand dollars in August, which this year has made one thousand seven hundred nine pounds and fifteen p. Made one hundred and sixty-nine thousand dollars. And it is not counting all the potential income streams the platform provides. But is money the primary motivation for already existing thirty-seven million YouTube channels? And what does it take to get monetized on YouTube? You see. Back in the days, YouTube was a site where you could find funny cat videos and hair tutorials. But in 2008, YouTube turned its focus on creating advertising formats that helped the growing community make money from the content on the site. After a year, YouTube acquired DoubleClick, enabling Google to build an advertising ecosystem on YouTube. DoubleClick Inc. was an advertisement company that developed and provided internet services from 1995 until its acquisition by Google. Today, in 2022, advertisers on YouTube can reach 2.56 billion people or more than a half of internet users. Also, out of all the social networks, people spend the most hours, 23.7, per month on YouTube. It is not surprising that marketers are throwing money at YouTube like crazy. In 2021, YouTube's global advertising revenue amounted to approximately 28.84 billion US dollars, which was up by almost 46% from $19.7 billion in the preceding fiscal period. In this video, I will talk about internal and external challenges creators face before earning money on YouTube. YouTubers earn money while sleeping from ads shown on their videos. So why wouldn't you want to join and get your split from advertisers' money? You see, there are three challenges that you will need to overcome and that's why most people will never do it and will never get to monetize their channels. What do I know? I have 33 subscribers. 33 best subscribers in the world. Hi, mom. First of all, according to current rules, to get monetized, you need to have 1,000 subscribers. According to some statistics, on average, it takes around 15 and a half months to get 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. This will consist of uploading 164 videos. For more than a decade, I was consuming YouTube for learning and entertainment purposes. Creators with a couple of thousand subscribers seemed so small in contrast to channels with multi-millions. Now, that I am not only consumer, I developed enormous respect and appreciation for any channel which hits 1000 subscribers. The bar for monetizing is high and many creators stop before reaching this goal. As an insider article suggests, just 0.4 of channels on YouTube get the bulk of views and subscribers. But having subscribers is not enough. Another challenge is to have 4,000 watch hours or 240,000 minutes. So if you force every person you know to subscribe to your channel, you will also need to ask them to watch every video and actually multiple times from different accounts. I hope you can agree this is not a solution. Before we talk about what can you change in your approach to YouTube, let's cover the third challenge which is yourself. I can speak on this from my heart and experience. I always wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I didn't dare because of what other people will think. Who do I think I am? What if I fail and everyone sees it? And why would anyone watch me? And the list goes on and on and on. And this is even before trying to film yourself and hating every aspect about yourself. So what can you change to overcome these obstacles and earn money on YouTube? First, don't try to impress other people. Having a baby changed my view on life. The one profound change was, you see, 
People try to impress others. I try to impress my babe. That is a huge difference. And if you don't have children, try to impress yourself first. Second, don't focus on money. Focus on making good videos. Money as a goal makes you desperate. And being desperate without seeing any immediate results is a recipe for disappointment and eventually giving up. Make it your priority to make good, quality, valuable videos. Third, don't focus on fast, but sustainable growth. Making videos is more challenging than you think. Making good videos consistently is the whole our challenge. Instead, focus on how can you improve by 1% each video without trying to be perfect at every aspect of it. Fourth, don't try to do everything yourself. Invest in yourself. Same as investing in stock market, you are betting on other people running their companies that can earn you money. Invest in a better camera, better microphone, editing, and place this bet on yourself first. Five, stay true to yourself. Being on camera is hard and being yourself on camera is even harder. Don't expect that your personality will shine through immediately. Just focus on telling your truth and with time, your good intentions will show, I hope. Six, have fun. I don't believe you can do anything for a long time if you are not having fun. Researching, writing and making videos is a very creative process for me and that's what I enjoy doing even if I'm not getting paid. Check in with yourself if it is a chore or fun for you. At the end of the day, it is not that serious. So don't take yourself too seriously. That's at least an advice for myself. Seven, introduce system thinking into your life. Think about how can you automate and speed up your process when it comes to running a YouTube channel or running your life for that matter so that you have more time and mental space for what matters the most, good ideas and value you provide, thinking ways that help us to manage our life. You see, these are not tricks or hacks that will help you grow your channel, but I genuinely believe if you make these changes in your mindset, it will lay a foundation on which you can build different content strategies for growing on YouTube. Gotta watch this video yourself next time you get into the spiral of self-doubt. Bye!